All right, team, we are back. I just went for a quick little break. All right, now. What quest do we want to do next, actually? I've got probably got some more money to spend. So I know that guy buying his silver pines, like what's that all about? Ooh. Oh no, I forgot to repair that place. Oh no. I feel bad. Right. Um What else have we got? Can I buy this place yet? <laughs> yeah, I'm close though. Can nearly get it. If I save up a little bit longer. Definitely I'll be able to get it. Right, let's go do our side quest, right? Miss Peak Valley, what have we got? Is it just a door? Really? Is that it? Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this one. Hey. I don't say this often, but uh, dressed yeah. or successful with our fine range of clothing. Something just called me stupid. That's fucked up. No need in that. No need in that. Sweet, 400 gold just chilling in here. How come nobody else has got this? But the most interesting thing has to be a rather odd object I'm convinced must have some historical value. I'm sure my cousin Saul would know what it is. He works over at the Bright Wall Academy, you see. Very bright fellow. You wouldn't mind taking it to him, would you? I'd do it myself, but all that digging has done my back in. Okay. How kind you are, here it is. Okay. And what we're going to Bright Wall? Cool, let's go to Bright Wall. Any other business? Bright Wall, here I come. I didn't actually read what this quest was, but it looks like I just delivered a package, so that's not too hard. Nothing like delivering a cheeky little package. To Saul at the Bright Wall Academy. Let's go. I don't know why he keeps trying to get me to go that way. Right. Bright Wall Academy is this way. B. Finally updated. Nice. It's actually inside the academy. Nice. Woohoo! Oh, hey, look at all this gold! Alright, where is it? Hey! My dear soul, you're an old fish and no mistake. Possibly a trout, or maybe even weirder, like a sea cucumber or something. So technically they aren't fish. Anyway, you look like some kind of mutant fish thing. So there, yours sincerely, Arthur. Yeah. Here you go, Sol. Oh, thank you. From my cousin, is it? She's always sending the odd things she finds around the house. Although this one does seem quite intriguing. Intriguing, eh? I shall have a closer look when I have the time. You have said that delivered a potentially historical package to the Brightwall Kai. Perhaps you should check by later and see if it was worth the effort. Maybe I should indeed. Well, five guild seals for it, so yes. Alright, next. Well, 
Next quest on the agenda is Final Assault. Mm -hmm. What's this? Arthur urgently needs a letter delivered to Bright Wall. Mm, somebody's ringing the door. Never mind, looks like I don't need to go. Where is our. Well, where are we? Oh, Millfield's right. There. First time I've been to actual Millfields, I've not actually been here yet. It's funny that, eh? I've not actually went, walked through here, but I've unlocked the map. But, eh. Uh... Oh, wedding ring. If I remember it correctly, Millfields is basically... Where the fuck is it? I can hear you, you bastard. Where are you? He's here somewhere. Where is it? Where is this gnome? Oh, the nice shoes. But don't you think your grand's feet are cold without them? Hmm. For my money, men make the best heroes. Present company accepted, of course. He's a gnome, right? No gargoyle. Because in Fable 2, it was gargoyles you had to shoot down. I'm not like those mean gnomes. I'm a million times worse. Look at those Oops. Those broad shoulders, that square jaw. You are one weird looking lady. Where the fuck is it? But yeah, like I was trying to say, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure this area is where the gypsy camp was in Fable 2, and that bit down there is the old entrance to the guild. Like, you know, where you jump down into the water. I'm pretty sure. There's a gnome around here somewhere, but I can't find him, and I can't be honest looking for him, so. Yeah, fuck you. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Griffith Smith, and I'm the president of the Albion Historical Restoration Nice to meet you. Before you once stood a bridge to the site of the old gypsy camp where our late monarch was raised many yep. years ago. Alas, the bridge has fallen into disrepair, and this historical site of interest will soon be forgotten. Perhaps I can persuade you to make a donation to keep this place of such historical significance alive. Indeed. Yep, that's all I was right. Yeah, this was this was the old gypsy camp. Gosh, this fight for your piece of Albion's history will be immortalized at least until the next time it breaks. Come back some time to admire the bridge cross over. Admire the bridge or like you know, cross over. Another victory for the Albion Historical Restoration Society. Come back later on once the bridge has been built. I wonder if will the gypsy camp get like rebuilt? So yeah. So basically they destroyed the guild entrance. And uh Maybe he's thinking about eating crap. Put that there. How can I not find this fucking it's a gnome, it's a giant oh, it's no giant, but it's like it's a big gnome. It's and I can't fucking see it. But yeah, anyway, either way. Either way. Oh, dog trading. Ah, oh, I've already got him. Shit. Oh well. I'd like to get to know someone like you and then drown them. Was this still not for sale? Oh, that is for sale, but that is very expensive. But yeah, I never explored Fable 2. 
uh, Fable 3. Like, I'd done all the main quests and then I was done. That was it. Never, like, explored anywhere. But yeah, it's weird to think that this used to be the guild entrance. Or at least the way into the guild area. Now it's just fancy. A little fancy area. Whoa. That's cool. I forgot you could swim in this game. This is where all the rich people live. Hi, Will. The yard. See, there's the bridge, and that's how you light up the power stone. Fancy a delivery job. I've got a letter that simply must reach Brightwall as soon as possible. Sure. I cannot stress how imperative it is that this vital communication reaches its recipient post haste. This is the final letter in what has been my life's work. I've sent all sure. for that. Don't worry, my What the fuck? <laughs> what just happened? Just get... I've never seen that before. What the fuck just happened? Did I level up my magic or something? Holy shit. Why are, where are these bandits even coming from? I didn't even get to hear the rest of that guy's conversation because I wanted to fucking... Um, save the people. Save that by Bella. Wait, there's a dig spot area. Oops. Alright, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I was wrong. My bad. Might have a look in the sanctuary. Shit, take the letter to Brightwall. Cool. By the way, I can also buy this place now. Whoop whoop. Nice. And the only other thing I need to buy in Brightwall is this fucker. Look how fucking expensive that is. Jesus. Ah, oh, wow, that's gonna take a while to get. But technically, Bright Wolves finished. If we don't include the pawnbroker, so yeah, now we need to just move on to Bowerstone, start buying up Bowerstone. Sweet. Take the letter to Zachary. Zachary. Here you go, Zachary. Wow, a letter for me. I wonder what it says. It says you're a dick. Dear Zachary, you are an ugly, incompetent buffoon, and nobody likes you. Yours sincerely, Arthur. Oh, how rude! Gosh, you have helped Arthur achieve his goal of insulting everyone in album. Zachary was the last one. What the fuck? Well then. I mean, it's, it's, if that's his life goal, then well, good for him, you know. Where's my morality sitting, by the way? I don't know. Morality is in the green, attractiveness is in the green. Wait. Alright, cool. I mean, I would say I'm a pretty good guy, but I guess not. Nobody else feels that way. No, everyone feels the same way. An ancient key. Uh, Saul had the key to an ancient secret, but he needs some help. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Did it really spawn me all the way out here? It's fucked up. Making me need to run all the way back, Jesus. 
All right. Why not? Anyway, back to what I was doing. Here we go, here we go. Money. Oh shit, yeah, this is the thing that I gave the guy, eh? Durr. Gave the guy the key hang and uh, yeah, so let's see. Or oh, it wasn't a key, it was like a just a box. A present from his sister. Again. You delivered that package for my cousin, yes. didn't you? Well, it turned out to be a rather ancient artifact. A key to a secret door in this very academy. Most exciting. Damn. I was all ready to open it and investigate, but Samuel, my boss, said it might be dangerous. He suggested I find a capable escort. You certainly look right for the job. Will you come with me? It could be the greatest discovery of the sure. century. Sounds like fun. I'm down. I'm down, dude. The key for for of oh, forbidden knowledge. Ugh. You will English. Brilliant. Let's go then, shall we? Shall we get on then? I can't wait to get started. Hmm. I guess we're going to the secret area. Traded to some long dead merchant a thousand years ago. Don't you be so negative. That could be interesting in itself. What did they trade in those days? Who knows? Shit. Get the fuck away, skeletons. Scaling tons, get away from me. I'm not using any of my swords on you because you fucking hate what you say to the weapons. Now let's go, buddy. Let's run! Shit. Come on. Oh, crap. Drop the fucking control. <laughs> Whoops. Let's go. Let's go, Soul. Let's go. Soul. Soul. Sick, man. We might find new tomes of arcane lore. Or a book on ancient science that will enable us to build a flying machine or something. Though that is unlikely. Haha. Uh -huh. So this is the secret area. Okay. Hold my hand, bro. We'll make it through this. <laughs> What's up, Brian? I'm just, you know, just, just protecting them. Nothing makes you feel more safe than holding hands. There's a chest up there, cool. 
I mean, even if I, if I run fast enough, then I don't have to hold his hand. Cunt's still talking, and I'm just kind of like looking at her chest, like, uh huh. What's behind hidden door number two? Back in the library. Damn. What's going on, man? Not much, Ryan. Not much. Just the usual. It's bloody roasting hot today. And I'm trapped inside. Thanks to you, Sal has unearthed what may be a vast store of lost knowledge. Although it's possible you could start reading and realize it's all just stuff people already know. But still. But still, you never know. Hey, I guarantee there'll be something in one of these bookshelves for me. That what isn't they just free gold? without a key. What the fuck? You tell me I need to walk all the way back up? Fuck that shit. See you later. Teleport. Walking all the way back. <laughs> Pain is mightier. Peace, love and homicide. Nope. Gnomes are evil. Bored to death. So sweet. The only actual other quest we need to do is the Max and Sam one. Because <sighs> the other, the chicken Racing one's glitched, can I do that? And the other two are quest to find every book and shit. And then one of them's kill innocent people. There's another fucking gnome here. I am so fucking powerful. Yes! Ooh, boy. We could be best friends. If I like you, the fuck is this gnome? If I knew where they were, would they be as bad? Same, the river's beautiful here. And I'm about to be stuck at work. Oh, it's so much funny. Like I always say, it's great being an adult. Oh, fuck. I'm going to go find Max and Sam, and if I'm pretty sure Max and Sam are the same two guys for Fable. Uh, Fable 2. The guys that kept getting ourselves into trouble. But they're actually dead now. You said this cemetery would be loads of fun, and now it's obvious. They're better as they too. It is Max and Son. Well, I'm not getting it. Have Livy here get it. Who? Oh, Quite right. a lot of it. Yep. Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. We just want someone to have a chat with. Hmm. If I'm if I'm pretty sure they use, they tried to use the Normanomicon last in Fable Two, and I had to kill, or my dad had to kill everybody and to kill them all. The book is in milk. Where it belongs. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. 
You'll have that book over my dead body, she used to say. Which was eerily prescient. So all you have to do is dig it up. So fucked up, but I love Max and Sam, so I'm going to do it. Even if it is fucked up. Welcome to the... Mail fields. It's not like anything's actually up in here anyway. Oh, I don't have enough on do I? Cool. Found. I didn't realise these are all so fucking expensive. Jesus, holy crap. Okay. What ebbs? Villagers who fear you. None of them. Sweet. Name the fears me. Mm -hmm. Money, money, money. I love so money. So much money in my bank account. So what do I do first? Power stone market, power stone market. Alright. Sweet. <laughs> Not actually that much stuff you need to worry about buying in Powerstone Market. To be fair, not too shabby. Apart from all these houses. One day we will conquer them all. Alright. So dark and spooky. Max and Sam, that brought back some Fable 2 nostalgia. Yeah, Max and Sam were awesome. Some of the two dumbest people I ever met in a fucking Fable game, but oh, uh, they two used to have some good adventures. Dig spot. Where's the dig spot, boy? Out here? Is this the dig spot? Come on, doggo. Where's the. Where is it? Haha, good man. Good boy. Right. Wow. The troublemakers of oh, Fable Chef Scrap. That's true. Jesus, I'm trying to type. Oh, that hurt my hand. <laughs> Alright. 
But yeah, this is cool. See, if I would have done this when I first played Fable 3, like actually explore the side quests and stuff, probably would have been awesome. But, you know, you find that little side quest where you, I'll get to see the uh, gypsy camp again at some point. Looking forward to that. Oh god. Ben Brooks, no longer really doing it. David Oxford dies for his art. Shot in the dead of night. Brilliant. Walter Cohen stab in broad daylight. Jesus. Well damn. Hmm. Where's the treasure boy? Eh? Oh, the key that's right in front of me. Fuck. You have a good eye. What what one is it we're looking for, boy? So fucked up. <sighs> My god. Oh no. Oh crap. Come on woman, I'm a hero. I can handle a few skeletons. Come on. Come closer. Come closer. Damn, it's still coming. Oh, it's so overpowered. It's amazing. Woo! We're not done. Never mind. Whoops. Holy crap! One at a time, boys. One at a time. That's fire and lightning. Fire and lightning is fucking awesome. My god, I'm like, I'm stuck. Holy crap. Alright boys, just uh, use just while I wait there for me to build this up a little bit more. Nice. They're actually hitting each other. Oh, the big guy. The big guy's coming for me. Fuck you. Damn. I'm not using my sword and gun on them because it ruins the uh, look of your weapons. Because it goes all scaling. It gets all like bone style. And I'm trying to stick it to the fire and money. Some could just fucking electrocute me. What the fuck? Nice. <sighs> Go to the big guy. Well, I haven't seen that kind of fighting since that hero rescued my son so many years ago. Pops. Twice. Yep, he did rescue them twice. With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. And it's a bit uncomfortable, frankly. Well, I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. 
That's cool. Now, well, first rate sluggard, second rate. Spending all the years of your young life on a small farm in a backwater country has made you restless. Who hmm. knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure? But once ignited, the flames of wanderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms, and perhaps considering a career in excavation. Your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. If you want to head east towards the ominous ruins, turn to page two. To go west towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. Jesus. To head north towards the snow covered. It's got a fucking storybook. Turn to page one five six. If you want to go south, which is back home, read this page again. Well then, I need to return to Max and Sam. Welcome to. Ah. <sighs> Max and Sam, my boys, your mama is not happy. Yes. Nearly done. I'd like to help you in your quest to save the world. Here, let me hold your breath here. Fuck you, Norm. I don't need any help. All right. I wonder what they're going to say now. What should we do? Be bold. We'll just open. To what if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? All right. If that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section. But we'll do it boldly. Hey guys. Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to. Nope, bye. Do I have to give them it? Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to. We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost pantry. Must be where the snacks are kept. Ghost pants. Oh boy. Interesting. Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Ghost party! Brilliant! Right, let's have that then. Now then. <clears throat> Necrus, Rhysius, Cordroy! Oh boy. Wow. It's actually a party. That's cool. You have helped the deceased to obtain the nomen nomen the whatever the fucking hell that book's called. Possibly not one of your better judgment. Possibly not one of your better judgment calls. Yeah, maybe not. But they're funny. So if they ever get themselves in trouble, I'm sure they'll help. But I mean. Bored to death. Oh shit, I'm drunk. I reckon this is the wildest party I've ever been to. Already you could count the parties I've been to all Oh time. no. And that hand wouldn't have four of its fingers cut off. So, what did you die on the Oh, whoops. <laughs> this is insane.
Oops. Oh boy. Oh, how long am I going to be sick for? Oh man, that's disgusting. Jesus. Hey, monster, welcome to the stream. Sorry if I. Uh, monster or. Ologies? If I messed up your name, sorry. Is there anything else I can do here? Oh, I'm still being sick. Jesus. I am never trying that ghost tale stuff again. I probably shouldn't have gave them the book. Oh well, they're happy. They just wanted to have a party since they're dead. What's wrong? It's not that bad with that. Any other business to attend to? Nah, I think I'm all good. <laughs> so this one is just straight up kill somebody, which I'm not doing. Maybe the ones the morning would vote. Eh, uh, vault? Fort? What the hell? That's weird. Looks like me the other night puking on the side of my car. Oh, that's nasty, Ryan. Jam. Being sick on your car. That's a, nice, that's a good story to have on a night out. Alright, what else have we got? So, an evil presence. Oh, no, 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 no. A hellish infestation has taken over the academy. Saul needs a truly heroic exterminator to help clean the place up. Fuck's sake, Saul. <laughs> the liquor got me that time. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I miss all the drunk stories. I used to have. Remember that the kingdom is populated with people who loathe your brother. They're hoping for someone else right. to follow. Someone who will fearlessly complete heroic quests. Is there anything else we can buy in Boorstone Markia? Maybe? Yes, there it is. Oh boy. I need to remember to repair shit. When I'm buying it, like, just repair. Do the smart thing. Why are these all vacant? You know, we need to get some people some homes. Damn. It's fucking expensive. Blowing all my money. Nothing better than blowing all my hard earned money. I don't have enough gold. Cool. Can't definitely can't afford that. Right now. Oh, no, don't have enough. Cool. Didn't they want it anyway? Can't afford. <sighs> Need to get that pub. Haha. -ha. Uh, Alright, so we're actually nearly done once again. Getting close. Nearly finished up Bowerstone Market. Right. Well, I'm going to jump out for. Uh, actually. Shit. Well, I was going to say I was going to jump out for a quick break, but it looks like I need to end the stream here. So, yeah. Gonna end the stream. Didn't really get to do that much, but uh, you know, we completed some side quests. Got to explore Albion a little. We got to have a little ghost party and get absolutely steaming. So I'd say that is a great place to end this game. So yeah, I shall be live again tomorrow playing. I wonder what I'm playing. I really need to start actually paying attention. H1Z1. Oh boy, King of the Hill, or whatever it's called nowadays on the PC. So that'll be fun to test that out again. So yeah, 
I shall be back tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. And yeah, I shall see you guys later.